It's time for yet another question via ddefranco.com slash ask. And today's question comes from Logan Hart. Now, i got to be honest, I've never even read this question. So this is going to be totally a natural of a response. I guess that's the best way of putting that. Anyway, Logan says, hey, David. Hi. He said hi again. Hi, I have a question regarding the Mac Mini. Currently, I'm saving money for a new computer, preferably a Mac. Good choice. I am currently using a PC, and that would be my first Apple computer. Being the cheapest of all Macs, I was wondering if the Mac Mini that costs around $600 would be a good upgrade to a Dell Inspiron, well, good upgrade from, you should say, good upgrade from a Dell Inspiron with an Intel Pentium dual core 2 gigahertz processor and 3 gigabytes of RAM. It's a mouthful. If it's not, what computer would you recommend? I don't want the most high-end stuff, and I'm fine with a laptop if that is what I must have. Thank you, Logan. To best tackle this question, I'm just going to go with the header, which is, is the Mac Mini worth it? That's the simplest way of answering this. And I gotta say, hell yeah. The Mac Mini is an awesome little computer that could. Think of like Thomas the Engine. While he may seem childish and not that powerful just by looking at him, he's definitely the little engine that could. Is that Thomas the Engine? Let me Google that real quick. Thomas the Engine. The engine that could. The little engine that could. Is... Oh, look at this. The book is used to teach children the value of optimism and hard work. I like that. Being optimistic is very important in life. But I can't see if it was Thomas the Engine. I could be wrong. You know what, guys? Forget it. Get the Thomas the Engine out of here. That comparison was not that great. My point is, the Mac Mini, no matter how small it may appear, trust me, it's more than powerful enough for the average user. Now, for someone like me, I obviously need, like, you know, the Mac Pro or the iMac for most of my tasks. Yes, I could easily get away with my graphic design on the Mac Mini. It's more than powerful uh, for those kinds of tasks. Hell, it's even powerful enough for Fonica Pro 10. I don't see why not. The only thing you're losing out on is hard drive expansion, graphics card expansion, and all those internals. Um, yes, you can open it to add more RAM, which is good, and it's very easy, I should add. You literally just twist it off from the bottom, and you put the RAM in. I actually have a video on the Mac Mini. Just go to my channel and search Mac Mini, and you'll see like a setup process with my dad. And I gotta say, it's a fine, fine machine for $600. And now with all this jingling in the background, Smokey's going crazy when I say Mac Mini. That's how much he loves it. But yes, um... God, I forget your name. I'm so sorry. Logan, the Mac Mini is definitely worth it. Go for it. And I should say, since you're coming from a Dell Inspiron, that means you're used to Windows. So always keep in mind, the Mac Mini runs Windows perfectly. So in a way, you're buying two computers for one. So you'll be getting a great OS X experience, but as well as that familiar Windows XP Vista slash 7 experience. And speaking of Apple, today's free audiobook is I Was how I invented the personal computer and had fun along the way. Now, as you may know, it's not just Steve Jobs who founded Apple. Uh, the other co-founder is Steve Wozniak, better known as Iwaz, very cool guy. I obviously don't personally know him, but, f but from what I see and read and watch online and all that stuff, he just seems like an overall cool dude. What is normally a $24.49 value is yours for completely, yes, you guessed it, Free. Just head on over to audibletrial.com slash the creative one. Link is right below for your convenience. Click that, search this audiobook, and it's yours to keep forever. No, really. Forever. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to ask your own question over at ddefranco.com slash ask, feel free to do so, and maybe, just maybe, I'll answer in a video such as this, and I will see you when? Yeah, that's right. In my next video. Well, that was cheesy, wasn't it? Oh, well.